Hey everyone, it's me, Excanadensis, and today is a short haul video, but I wanted to share with you guys, and also I promised four videos this week, and I've only done two. <laughs> so today, every Saturday-ish, we go, me and my boyfriend go on this certain rotation of thrift stores that are in my area, and it's just like, start at one, then the, the last one's like right next to our house, and um, we found some good stuff for me. It's always hard to find him stuff, but... Um, I'm really, really stoked about my finds. So the first thing that I found was at my favorite thrift store where I've had the most of my good finds. Um, it's this bag. Now, why is this bag special? So it has a Moxie Girls doll in it. I've never had a Moxie Girls doll. I don't really care for their look um, yet. I might enjoy them later. Um, and she does have her shoes, though. But the reason I bought the bag, and this was $3, is because we have Charlotte LaBeouf. Um, this is Tiana's friend from Princess and the Frog, if you don't know. So this is the Disney Store doll from the year the movie was released. This is actually the first edition version. So I actually have the second edition. I bought her thinking she was the first edition. And as you can see, the first edition looks a lot better. So this one has the crossed eyes, and this one has the side glancing eyes. So this one is getting retired, and this is going to be my new Lottie LaBeouf main doll. So let's get her out of here. I'm so excited. This is one of my all-time favorite Disney ladies. I think she's amazing, and she is from my favorite Disney movie. So just really cool find. Was not expecting to find her. She's nude, but she's actually in, like, better condition than mine. Like, I don't know what it is, and I opened mine brand new, so I'm the only owner of mine, and I don't mess with my dolls too, too much, but, like, she's in much better condition. Uh, so I'm actually going to transfer mine's dress over to retire mine officially. If I do end up getting the Mattel doll, I don't really think the Mattel doll looks very much like Charlotte, so I'll probably put um, the Mattel outfit on that Charlotte, but for now, this is my main Charlotte, guys. Like, I'm super, super stoked about it, so let's get her all dressed up. Um... I just, I love her. She's so beautiful. And I love her character so much. Especially, like, at the end, her growth is just... Mm, she's just wonderful. Do you guys like Princess and the Frog? I guess you can't answer because the comments will be taken away shortly after I upload this. Check me out on Instagram. It's xcandidents. It's the same way it's spelled here if you want to chat with me about something. Um, also, my uh, YouTube community page is open for comments. Alrighty. Oh, she looks so good. So now I essentially have the first edition Charlotte doll. It would have been great if she had her dress so I could have both on display, but I'm fine with this because I have several editions of Tiana and it would have been cute to put uh, them with... Oop, dropped one of her shoes. Let's put her shoes on. The most generic doll shoes ever. Sorry, guys. This is just something I'm really excited about. I don't know. I saw her and I was kind of debating getting her. I was like, hmm. Because I do have Charlotte already. These shoes are really tight. I just dropped the shoe again. I do already have Charlotte. I do love my doll. But I just kept looking at her face and I was like, I can't resist. She's so beautiful. Um, if she'd come with her outfit, it would have been a lot more of like a not being able to resist it. But she just looks so, so good. So I, I caved in. And now she's my girl. I cannot get the shoe on. They are so tight. Where was it? It was in the entry this area. Like in the cabinet? The, the, uh, Utensils? Oh, we should not have been there. Alright, here she is. I really need to sew her in underskirt to make the dress fluff out more. I had this annoying habit of taking out the fluff that was under the dresses and throwing it away. It was like toilet paper. Oh, she looks so good! I really love her. I, I've loved mine, and she's brought me a lot of joy over the years, but can't really deny that the face is much cuter on this one. I see what they're going for on this one, but especially in pictures, girl looks a little rough. Look, Fred, she's cute! Yeah. About so. I really love her. Okay, so that is her. Really. Um, don't bully me! Alright, and then our Moxie Girls doll here. Let me know if you know which one this is. Oh, looks like she has a crown. Oh. Oh, is this like a Rapunzel? She's got blonde hair and a purple crown. Her hair is crazy. I might restore this doll when I restore the Bratz doll that I got at the that I got at the thrift store. Let's get She's got this purple crown here. Oh, are these the MGA Storytime Princess counterparts that they made with Moxie Girls? That might be what these are. And she actually makes sound, but it's just like this weird beep sound because she's probably out of battery. Um, she's got an on and off switch on the back. These pearly panties. Um, 
if you could be so kind and let me know who she is on my Instagram, since I guess you can't comment here. She's very interesting looking. I've never had a Moxie Girls doll. I've never been super attracted to them. I do think they're kind of pretty, but I don't know. Their look just isn't for me. I much prefer Brat's look. Um, but I know Moxie Girls are probably like super for some people and Brat's are super for other people, you know? Um, but she's pretty cute. I'd like to fix up her hair and see how I can get her to look. Um, I have a Bratz doll to fix up as well. I don't know where she is right now, though. Let's see if I can find her. Um, ah, yeah, here she is. So I have this Bratz doll that I'm hoping to fix up, so hopefully next time I make a restoration video it'll be these two. I'm just gonna start piling up, uh, MGA dolls to restore. <laughs> Alrighty, and then the last thing for this video, um, I could have made a video with just Charlotte, but I found this and I've actually been looking for this item for a long time. Um, let me actually show you what I got. So while I was in Houston visiting my parents, um, we went to a Goodwill in a town next to the one that my parents live in. And I found this. This was $50 and it is a full embroidery machine with all the accessories and stuff. It is pretty spectacular. And I've actually made one thing with it, but I can't figure out how to make anything else. But it's pretty spectacular. So it's a brother model HE1. And I love this thing. And anyway, this is relevant because... Anyway, isn't it pretty with all the blue swirlies and stuff? Um, today at um, the thrift store, we don't normally find stuff at, but we like to check it out anyway. I found this spectacular piece. Actually, my boyfriend pointed it out to me. I might not have noticed it. This is a brother XL2600i. And it's a sewing machine. And my current sewing machine is actually right here, I'll show you. And if you if you don't know, I, I sew a lot. I do cosplays and... I like to say I customize dolls, but do I ever? <laughs> um, this is my current sewing machine. It is my mom's from when she was a teenager or a kid, I can't remember. It's a little old as a singer fashion mate. Um, it served me well over the years, but it's getting to the point where it's fallen apart so much that while you're sewing, the thread will just snap because one of the plastic parts of the machine is, like, slightly poking out. It's a disaster. So I've got this new baby. And the reason- I might not have gotten this because it was $40 and sewing machines are super common at thrift stores. If you guys go shopping at thrift stores, you find them all the time. But it's in perfect condition. It's brand new. Like, I'll show you. The little accessory box, which thank goodness they labeled it with the accessories because otherwise I wouldn't have checked, actually comes with all sealed accessories. I unsealed one to check if the... I was checking to see if it worked, so I plugged it in, put a needle in, and ran it, and it, it definitely works. Um, and it comes with this double needle, which I've never had before, which is pretty neat. Um, so cool. Um, and of course it has the pedal, which is still in the original bag from when the person bought it. I 100% feel that nobody ever used this, like... The spool pin, everything was in. It's just really, really happy about this. Um, and then all these little accessories, which my machine I got used from my mom, so I don't have all these little accessories, so it's kind of cool. This is the double needle that I took out of the container because um, I didn't notice that there were single needles. Um, I have quite a few extra of those because my machine breaks the needles all the time, but um, I have actually no idea what this puppy is, but are they feed dogs? I don't know what the feed dog looks like in this machine. No, they're not. Yeah, I really have no idea what that is. Um, and then we've got extra bobbins, which is great because I have singer bobbins. I don't have brother bobbins, so I'm gonna have to convert. They are slightly different sizes. And then there's this thing, which I think is for this. I don't know what this is, but I noticed it might be a missing dial. I'm not sure, but in pictures it didn't look like it was. Oh, is this for the spool pin? I don't know what this is either. Yeah. We're gonna be learning with this machine. Because <laughs> my machine's from like the 80s. I don't know what this is. And then we've got a number of special extra, um... Oh, is this a walking foot? No, what is this? Special extra, um, presser feet, which is exciting because I've only ever had one. And I'll take it off my machine right now because it, it pops off while I'm sewing all the time. This is my current one. It's plastic. And it, it is terrible, but this one comes with- I know that this is a zipper foot, I believe? Actually, this might be a rolled hammer? I'm not sure. We've got this one. Really not sure what this is. <laughs> and then this really strange one that looks like it, like, 
I thought it was a walking foot at first and got excited, but I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe it is. It goes up and down. <laughs> and then just the standard one that's already on there. This is an exciting thing that I own now. Um, so that is it for the thrift haul. Maybe I'll use my new sewing machine to make a new dress for poor naked Charlotte here. Um, what's wrong? Oh, yeah, she's cute. It's gonna mess with my machine. Alright, and I am excited to play with my, my new machine. Oh, and I checked at the store because it has the plugs and it all works. Always have to do that. If it doesn't come with plugs, which I bought one that didn't come with plugs because it was a serger and it was $15? It was ridiculously cheap. Um, and it's still at the repair shop. They haven't called me back yet. It's been like a month. <laughs> um, but I've just had good uh, machine luck at thrift stores, so I'm super happy about that. So hopefully next time you see me working with sewing machines in a video, you'll see my new beautiful one. And that is how you know that it has been working for me. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and can't really leave comments because of the whole YouTube situation, so I guess, uh, just bye. Um, if you want to leave a comment, just go to my Instagram and talk to me there, or, um, my YouTube community page, like I said. Uh, for real this time, bye!